Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So the new rebirth list actually just refreshed. Um, so you might notice I, I got a new haircut. I forgot to mention it in my my update video. But yeah, I I just want I just wanted a just want a fresh new start, you know? New rebirth list, new everything, new plans, new goals. Uh, finally reached another milestone on on Golem's B9, and um, just definitely definitely gonna start working towards a lot more things in the future. So I wanted to make this video just talking about the rebirth list um, and also some of these monsters and what, what you might be able to use them for. So think of this as a monster review video um, as well. Um, so this is the new rebirth list. They actually introduced two like basically they had two more um, light dark units added to the rebirth list. I guess this is for people who maybe might have missed the first month of farming the Light Victorias. They might be able to get a few more if they do a lot of rebirths this month. But it's still very, very hard to get four stars. Like the 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 chance of getting a four star is basically like summoning a four star for rebirth. Um and and also these two units. So you ha you have a higher chance of getting four stars now. Well not really a higher chance, but um a, a chance of getting more 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 four stars. Um, I think my main goal at this month, at the very very least, is to also get is to get um, you know I already have the the light one from from the login, but also try to get a dark one and and a light and dark uh, miho as well. So I actually got I actually wait 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 wrong wrong button wrong button. I actually already summoned the the dark miho uh, or rebirth her yesterday, and I I had her with like some pretty good gem slots, so I decided to just raise her to evil three. Um, I had a lot of lot of mihos. I just had a lot of monsters in general for for rebirthing. I spent about um, I did about wait one five like ten rebirths or so, um, and I actually got her. And she's actually really really strong. She has defense or HP aggression, not defense aggression. HP aggression, in my opinion, is not as good as defense aggression, but it's still still pretty good. Um, definitely a monster I want to test out in the future. So I actually got her with like you know a pretty pretty decent gem slot, one of each, which is always good. Um, this way she's not locked into anything. And yeah, I got her to evil three with all the other mihos I got from from rebirthing. So um, I'm actually going to go through the the miho skills and also talk a little bit about them. I I know I've talked about them in the past because they're pretty much the most common monster in the game. Um, but I guess I just wanted a chance to to do my do my official review on them as well. So. This is the Fire Miho. Um, she's the first monster you get. In, well, actually, not the second monster you get in the game. Basically, everyone has her, and she's pretty much the mascot of the game. Um, the Mihos have a resist leader, which is always nice. Resistance is really, really well, pretty useful in this game. Um, not always useful, but most for the majority of the time, it's always helpful. So m resistance helps you, like you know, resist uh, debuffs and saps and all that, all that weird shit. Um, she also has an attack down on her first skill, 60%. This is this is decent, and she has an HP siphon, which uh, isn't is tied to her AOE skill, which res restores her HP based on the damage dealt. Um, she does pretty decent damage, but she is also HP type, so um, she's tank type. So she's she's basically has a large HP pool, not as high attack um, for her base stats. So she's not going to do that much damage. Uh, she's mostly just there to self-sustain, tank damage, and um, you know, and she's pretty much a very defensive monster because of her, um, you know, defensive debuff and also the the self-sustain from her AOE. The water water Miho, wait, where is where is she? I actually raised her. I actually raised her. I have her at five stars. Um, she's, in my opinion, the best farmable. Well, not farmable. Actually, wait, no, she is farmable. She's capturable. Um, the best farmable um, sapper in the game, like compared to any anything else. Um, you like compared to the C star, but the C star has a little bit lower chance of actually landing the sap on her first skill, and the same chance of landing sap on her second skill. Um, she's she's definitely not as strong as like f say for example the the water Yuki who has a 60% chance to land two t two saps for two turns, um, or the fire Persephone who is like the best sapper in the game who can land like you know 100% chance to land uh, two saps for two turns, and also first skill 60% chance to land two saps as well. Um, but she is she is definitely farmable, very very easy to get. Um, to get uh, ev evolution material for, so she's definitely a really good monster for for just sap and AOE sap, 
And she also has this, the resist leader of all, all Mihos. If you can happen to get a variant version of a Miho to feed into her, um, or summon her as a variant, um, or capture her as a variant. Um, yeah, she's definitely a she's she's decent. All right, she's decent. If, uh, a lot of people are like really against Sap, but I, I think like I'm gonna test it out on my free to play account. Um, I'm gonna try to skip through B eight and nine, and then just go straight to B ten um, by by abusing like the the tr the diamond slot gems and using only sappers at five stars. I think I can definitely do it. Like if I if I pull this off properly, I can definitely do it on my on my free to play account. Um, so I'm definitely gonna test that out very very soon. Um, what else is there? Okay, no, please, please no dubstep, please no dubstep. NCS. Um, there's also the the wood one. All right, so the wood one, a lot of people say is the strongest one because she has a defense down and a stun. I also have her at five stars max level um, and and max evolution. She's, in my opinion. Yeah, I I would say she's the strongest one as well because of the um, you know the she's her stats are a bit, lot better than the other ones. The the water one like you mostly want to build her tank, but she's balance type, so she, a lot of some of her stats are going to be wasted on attack, which she doesn't really need. Um, but the the wood one is like kind of leaned towards attack as well, uh, or is kind of leaned towards attack, and she is an actual nuker, so definitely her stats are at the right in the in the right places. Um, and she has Death Break. Death Break is always very, very strong. And she has a stun, 60% um, on her AoE. So an AoE stun for a farmable monster is always really, really nice. Um, yeah, and then there's the there's the light and dark ones. I actually forgot about them for a second. I I, I thought I was done for a second there. Um, all right, the light one's the the only one I don't have right now. She's a taunter, 60% taunt and a 60% attack down. These are both really useful debuffs. I would say Taunt is Taunt is okay, but she's um, she's a defender, so she's basically really really tanky. Her stats are in the are in the right places, and um, you know, like based on her skill set, you, you kind of like when you review a monster. I think um, you basically look at their skill set, and then you look at their like you look at their active skills first. Like if if their first and second skill is like an a AOE or not. Um, and then you look at their, their passive skills, like what they can actually do with their skills, and how their stats complement those skills. And she's basically like, you know, a monster that has all her stats in the right places. So she's really, really tanky, um, and she has taunt, so that's definitely really good. And she also has attack down, which makes her a really, really good defensive monster if she's able to land this. Um, it makes it so the enemy, like, has a lot harder time um, killing your units, you know. And then, you know, if she can put attack down and also taunt them, she's going to take even less damage. Alright, so there's the dark one. Um, a lot of people would probably say this one's the strongest one because of how how strong aggression is in PvP right now. And also in PvE, um, aggression is definitely really, really good. But in my opinion, I think HP aggression is not as strong as defense aggression because of the way healing works. Um, in this game, like healing is not based on percentage, healing is based on the, the recovery slot stat of your healer, or based on like, you know, if your healer uses a passive skill to, he to heal, it's based on like the max HP of either your healer or your allies, or the damage they do. Um, so, so healing is basically always flat in this game. Um, and that's why defense, like having high defense, having high damage mitigation helps you a lot more than having a high HP pool because you're still going to be taking the same amount of damage. And if your healers can't keep up, it still means that your unit's going to die eventually. But for defense aggression, um, your HP pool isn't that high and your defense is really, really high. So you're taking a lot less damage and your healers are still healing for the same flat amount um, that they would for an, an HP aggressor. But aggression, in my opinion, is still really, really strong. It it basically means that you're able to have a high HP pool and also um, also do a lot of damage at the same time. So she's definitely a monster I want to test out in the future. Um, I think she, yeah, everyone has her as a variant. I don't I don't know if I can get another variant version of her or if I want to go and summon try to summon a variant version of her. Um, I don't think it's like 100% needed. But I definitely want to raise like I definitely want to raise the this dark one. I'm not too sure about the light one, but if I do happen to summon one, I'll, I'm definitely gonna get her to evil three as well. Might as well do it for the gems. Um, it's always worth it because because I can I can always farm the gold back eventually. 
Um, yeah, so that's that's basically it. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Um, also, wait, 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 wait. It's not it's not over. It's not over. I forgot to talk about the victorious. Or not? Yeah, the victorious. Or Vicky, or whatever the hell they're called. Um. All right, this is just the first look. Um. Pretty much everyone knows about her. She's another defense aggressor. Really, really strong monster. Um. Problem is she's 4 star, so it's definitely a lot harder to get her to Evil 3. A lot of people have her at Evil 3 because during the first month there was a dungeon to farm farm lots of copies of her. So I guess pretty much every single person that played during the first month has her at Evil 3. Um, yeah, I, I still think she's still somewhat usable at Evil 2. I could probably get an Evil 2 version of her, definitely, if I do a lot of rebirths. I'm pretty sure to get a lot of copies of these if I if I just rebirth enough during the, this um, this month or so. But yeah, I, I definitely wanna definitely do wanna raise her. Um, I think it's pretty straightforward. You guys already know how how strong defense aggressors are. Um, it's basically like HP aggressors, but healers do do more for them. The the dark one is actually a really interesting monster. This is a monster I've I've been really interested in for quite a long time. She has basically the exact same skill set as a fire Arthur. Um, if you if you take a look, he has a hundred percent stun and sixty percent armor break, and she has the exact same thing. So she's basically as strong as a as a as a as a Nat Five, and one of the stronger Nat Fives, I would say, in my opinion. Far Arthur is definitely one of the one of the stronger ones. Um, where the hell is she? God damn it! Am I blind? Am I actually blind? Okay, I found her. <laughs> All right, so. So she has the exact same skill set: three turn defense break, 60% chance, 100% chance to stun for for one turn. And she's definitely easier to get to Evil Three versus uh, than, than the Fire Arthur, I think. Um, yeah, and she also has the Victorious also have a really nice leader skill for attack, like global attack power. I think I'm probably a little bit more interested in raising her than the the light one. In my in my personal opinion, all right, this this might be like. Uh, this might be blasphemy to some people. <laughs> um, I I would favor the dark one over the light one, because because of the, the skill set. I think in the future, like if you have like really really good gems, um, like I think the utility will always trump like just straight out damage and stuff. Um, because of how she's able to like stun and and armor break and stuff, she's definitely a unit I want to raise to Evil Three if I if I can. Also get a variant version of her. Um, yeah, I'm really, really interested in her. I just, I, I really want one really, really badly. Um, so I hope I can, I can rebirth one later, later this month. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for my review. I'm going to be summoning, summoning and rebirthing very, very soon after this video. So be sure to check that video out and I'll see, hopefully you guys like this. If you guys liked it, like my video. If you guys didn't, then well, um, fuck you too. I mean, uh, you can dislike my video so to so tell me that you, uh, you, you, you don't like it. And then I'll, I'll find where you live and I'll cut you. I mean, um, th I'll th thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.